Welcome to the Mental Health and Black and White channel, where we unravel complex mental health issues and bring them into sharp focus. I am your host, Zen the Zebra. Today, we delve into a topic that demands our attention, body-focused repetitive behaviors. Imagine a world where mental health complexities are simplified, their shades distilled into clear black and white. In this episode, we shine a spotlight on body-focused repetitive behaviors, also known as BFRBs, a term encompassing specific compulsive actions that result in self-injury. Two of the most prevalent BFRBs are hair pulling and skin picking, officially recognized as trichotillomania and excoriation disorder, respectively, in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, also known as the DSM. Now, it's important to clarify that despite its name, trichotillomania bears no relation to the mania seen in bipolar disorder. Previously classified as an impulse control disorder, it now finds its home under obsessive compulsive and related disorders, aligning better with the compulsive nature of these behaviors. These actions aren't random. They're driven by an overpowering urge that's tough to resist. There are other compulsive body-focused behaviors beyond these two, which we'll touch upon later. However, trichotillomania and excoriation therapy are the primary BFRBs classified as disorders in the DSM. First, let's explore trichotillomania, or hair pulling. This entails repetitively pulling out one's hair, often strand by strand. This goes beyond the casual hair twirling during reading or studying. Typically, the urge to pull hair stems from anxiety or pent-up tension, and the act itself provides a sense of relief. The choice of hair matters, specific hair textures, or the satisfaction of seeing a white root at the end can drive this behavior. It's a meticulous ritual, often followed by manipulating the hair, rolling it between fingers, or even sucking on the root. However, the relief is fleeting and the behavior ultimately leads to distress, causing feelings of shame and frustration. Trichotillomania can target any hair-bearing part of the body, but most commonly the scalp, eyebrows, eyelids, or eyelashes. Sufferers often go to great lengths to conceal their actions, using scarves or hats to hide bald spots or opting for less noticeable areas resulting in thinning hair. While trichotillomania is primarily emotion driven, some individuals may engage in automatic hair pulling similar to a child soothing themselves by thumb sucking. Some might extend this behavior to pulling hairs from pets or fibers from clothing. The problem typically results with pulling one's own hair before extending to other actions. Next on our journey is skin picking or excoriation therapy, which shares many characteristics with hair pulling. Here, individuals pick at their skin to the point of creating sores, commonly on the face, hands, and arms. Fingernails are the typical tools of choice, but some may use tweezers or even resort to biting the skin, particularly on the hands or cuticles. This behavior often occurs alongside other activities like writing, akin to hair pulling during reading. While some may focus on pimples or bumps, many pick at healthy skin until it forms a sore, which is then subject to further picking or even chewing. As with trichotillomania, people can spend hours on this behavior, and it's usually hidden from others due to the shame and embarrassment it can cause. Both of these disorders usually emerge in adolescence, around puberty, and then often persist over time, although they can fluctuate in severity and even disappear for extended periods. In mild cases, 
Individuals might be able to manage without treatment as the behavior resolves on its own. However, for many, controlling the urges can be an immense challenge. Therapies such as habit reversal training, a form of CBT, and the self-help technique called decoupling can be immensely helpful. Decoupling involves replacing the compulsive behavior with an alternative action when tension builds. This disrupts the connection between the emotion and the compulsion, granting some control. Alternative therapies including yoga, aerobic exercise, acupuncture, biofeedback, and hypnosis may also offer relief. We're grateful for your trust in us for your mental health needs. If you found value in this video, please consider commenting, liking, and subscribing. You're also invited to download our free mental health journal for additional support on your journey to well-being. Thanks for listening.